Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Lion's Table. Let's take a moment to enter into the presence of God by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let God's word, which is truth, fill us and give us strength. Let us contemplate his great love for us, his sacrifice on the cross, his mercy, grace, and promise of eternal life through Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the word who was at the beginning, was with God and is God. Indeed, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made, and without him nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, and that life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. John 1, verses 1 through 5. Dear brothers and sisters in the body of Christ, we are so happy for you to join us in this ark of God's word. For faith comes by hearing God's word. If anyone keeps his word, the love of God has been truly perfected in him. And by this we know that we are in him. 1 John 2, verse 5. Simon Peter replied, Lord, to whom would we go? You have the words of eternal life. We believe and know that you are the Holy One of God. John 6, verses 68 through 69. And in John 7, 37, we read, Jesus stood up and called out in a loud voice, If anyone is thirsty, let him come to me and drink. Happy Mother's Day. And a reading from Luke 1, verse 39 through 49. In those days Mary got ready and hurried to a town in the hill country of Judah, where she entered the home of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the baby leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. In a loud voice she exclaimed, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And why am I so honored that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For as soon as the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the baby in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed is she who has believed that the Lord's word to hear her will be fulfilled. Indeed, blessed is she who has believed that the Lord's word to her will be fulfilled. In Luke 1, we also read Mary's song. Then Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on the humble state of his servant. From now on, all generations will call me blessed, for the Mighty One has done great things for me. Holy is his name. Let us contemplate Mary's song in context of 1 Timothy 2 verses 9 through 15, which gives instructions to women. Likewise, I want the women to adorn themselves with respectable apparel, with modesty, and with self-control, not with braided hair or gold or pearls or expensive clothes, but with good deeds, as is proper for women who profess to worship God. A woman must learn in quietness and full submissiveness. I do not permit a woman to teach or to exercise authority over a man. She is to remain quiet, for Adam was first formed first, and then Eve, and it was not Adam who was deceived, but the woman who was deceived, and fell into transgression. Women, however, will be saved through childbearing if they continue in faith, love, and holiness with self-control. What does this passage in Scripture mean for us today? It means the same as it did eons ago or just yesterday. Whether women of today are educated users of high technology or simple village dwellers that talk that walk wherever they have to go, the role of women is the same as it was outlined in God's word. Not to harm, but to direct her and encourage her to seek him and to live as she was designed. According to God's word, women are not allowed to be public teachers in church, for teaching is an office of authority, but good women may and ought to teach their children at home the principles of true religion. Also, women must not think of themselves excused from learning what is necessary to salvation, though they must not usurp authority which they come under, as it is written according to God's word. 
as woman was the was last in the creation, which is one reason for her subjection, so she was first in the transgression. But there is a word of comfort that those who continue in sobriety shall be saved in childbearing, or with child with childbearing, as it was for Mary who gave birth to Jesus, the Messiah, who was born of a woman. Mary said, God has looked with favor on the humble state of his servant. From now on, all generations will call me blessed, for the Mighty One has done great things for me. Holy is his name. Amen. So let us give thanks to God for our mothers and that she has been or is teaching you the principles of true religion, which is life in the body of Christ as a member of the body of Christ, and also raising a child to live a kingdom life, though we are yet here in this fallen world awaiting our blessed hope. We thank you so much for joining us on this Sunday edition, this Mother's Day edition of the Lion's Table. We want to thank all you mothers who have done your the duty that God has given you with sobriety, with conscientiousness, with love for God, love for your children and your family, who have abstained from the reprobate behavior the world so encourages in women today, and those who have repented of it. And we honor you and respect you. And we praise, praise you and thank you for being good mothers and raising the next generation of godly uh, young men and women. Well, thank you for joining us again. As always, we invite you to join us again next time. <laughs>